Okay, so winter holiday event part two details have been officially confirmed. Let's get right into it. So the winter holiday event part two is December 23rd, 10 a.m. to December 31st, 8 p.m. So it's gonna be starting on Friday. Wild Spoons during this event, we're gonna have the Pikachu with the outfit, a new Eevee with a holiday hat, which you can evolve into a bunch of different Eeveelutions with the holiday hat. So new costumes, I guess. Swinub, Delibird with the ribbon, Snowrunt, Sfeel, Snover, Vanillite, Cubju with a costume, Bergmite, and Rare Spawns for Lowland Sandshrew, Standler, and Crogonal. And also, by the way, you can evolve the Cubju with the ribbon now into Baratic with the ribbon. So we're finally getting that evolution and the costume cub chew is no longer useless. Seven kilometer eggs during the event will be hatching Sneasel, Smoochum, Amora, Bergmite, and Crab Brawler. So the same as part one. Once a race during the event will be the Pikachu with the outfit, Alolan Sandshrew, Eevee with the holiday hat, Aaron Daramaka, and Cub Chew wearing the holiday ribbon. Three stars will be Cloyster, Lapras, Delibur with a ribbon, and Glaceon with the outfit. Five stars will be Kyrim, which will get its new legacy move, Glaciate. This is really gonna help Kyrim out in PvP, making it one of the new best Master League Pokemon. So definitely a Pokemon you're gonna want to raid. And Mega Raids, of course, will still be Mega Glalie. We'll have some exclusive field research tasks during the event, getting you encounters with Pikachu with the outfit, Lolan Sandshrew, Sfeel, Shelder, Jinx, Eevee with the outfit, Deli Bird with the outfit, Cub Chew with the ribbon, Grab Brawler and Rare Spawns for Sneasel and Glaceon with the outfit, as well as some tasks for Mega Bomb Snow Energy. Now, the big part is the bonuses during the event. Trainers will be able to hold up to 40 gifts, but also there's gonna be a new timed research task that will get access to the event that's gonna have three different branching quest lines. You can choose between these quest lines, and each of these will lead to three different bonuses, which you will get for the end of the event. You can either choose the quarter egg hatch distance bonus, the double catch XP bonus, or the double catch status bonus. So you'll have a choice that, you know, the research will be like, which path do you want to go down? And then you follow that path, you'll get some items and stuff, and you'll get that specific bonus for the rest of the event. So you can only get one of the three. Status is easily probably the best bonus here. Now this time research is going to be separate of that $5 time research, which you can still go ahead and buy in the shop if you didn't buy it in part one. We're also going to have a mini event in this event, a winter wonderland event going down December 24th, 10 a.m. to December 25th, 8 p.m. local time. During this mini event, you're going to be able to do one extra special trade per day. And also daily adventure incense is going to be lasting for 30 minutes. So yes, you're going to have double the time on daily adventure, helping you try to find those Galarian birds and catch a bunch of more Pokemon off the daily adventure incense, because now you can get up like 60 spawns off one incense. There'll also be a collection challenge during this event that will require you to catch a bunch of things. You'll get, I think, a Galarian Mr. Mime encounter and some XP incense, probably not too crazy rewards. And also a pass feature is getting boosted. Now, if you didn't know it before in the past, if you had less than 10 lucky Pokemon in your Pokedex and you traded away a 2016 Pokemon that was caught in, believe, August, August or July of 2016, it'd be guaranteed to go lucky. However, if you had more than 10 lucky Pokemon in your Pokedex, it would not be guaranteed anymore. However, the chance would be a lot higher since it's an older Pokemon and older Pokemon have a higher chance to go lucky. Now that bonus is getting increased to 15. And also it says here that this is getting increased to Pokemon caught since 2017. So any Pokemon older than 2017, so 2017, 2016, you have less than 15 of them in your Pokedex and you receive one from trade, it's gonna guarantee to go lucky. Note, both trainers have to have less than 15. So this is a very specific bonus, not really that amazing, but it is there. Finally, he's seen Avalug raid day December 24th 2 to 5 p.m. local time. He's seen Avalug is going to be more available in raids. It can be shiny with a shine rate of 1 in 10. You can get up to 5 free local raid passes from spinning gyms during the day. And with that being said, that is pretty much the video guys. Honestly, this event looks very similar to part 1. Nothing crazy new here. Obviously, we're going to be getting, you know, EV costumes, so if you want to collect all those EV Lucian costumes, I'll actually just link below my video on how to get all the EV Lucians if anyone's wondering so they'll know how to evolve them. But that's it. Let me know what you guys think about it. See you in the next one. Fall from this Buddy, peace.